This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. My name is Kinetic Cole Radrick. Oh, that's a very cool name. Uh, yeah, I, I try. <laughs> I'm kind of a lame person, but I'm pretty cool when it comes to wrestling. So that's all that matters. That's the most important thing is knowing that you're cool in the ring. It doesn't matter what's happening outside the ring. Yeah, I mean, like, most shows are like, oh, he's super cool, whatever. And then here comes an admission that you're my merch table. And I'm just like, I'm here. Uh, I got eight by tens of shirts. And they're like, it doesn't translate. <laughs> Something's missing, and I'm like, I'm not getting my ass kicked or kicking <laughs> someone's ass. That's the only difference, really. That's really cool, though, because like, I, I think a lot of people forget there's a lot of personalities behind the personalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, you know, wrestling is best when you have your... What works best is your actual personality. Mm-hmm. It can explode by, like, 100%. Like, when I get excited, I talk really, really fast. I move a lot. And so that's kind of the cool ragic. And then there's this regular Cole Roger who doesn't wrestle and is just like twiddling his thumbs, wondering, you know, if the Pacers are winning against Cleveland, which they should be. Because game seven today. And, you know, there's this Cole Roger who just reads a book and is weird and plain. We're big fans of books. I'd say, me too. I brought a book with me, actually. I'm not going to lie. I brought a book with me. So after I wrestle, I have something to do. I actually just picked up a. Hakeem Olajuwon's um, dream book, his autobiography. <laughs> I found it at a thrift store, super excited. Uh, okay, yeah, I can understand that. I'm super lame and basic. I got the Fault in Our Stars. Oh, cool. Because I am I like to be sad, and I'm ready to read it. It's a good book. I've read yeah, that book. It is. The movie translated pretty well, too. Yeah, surprisingly. So that usually doesn't happen. No, it never does. No, we're going to just talk about Fault in Our Stars the rest of this podcast, because that's way more important than wrestling. Are you excited about the match today? Yeah, I get to beat up my three roommates. Of course I'm excited. Trey had a lot of shit to talk. <laughs> Myron's going to get in here, and he's going to be talking all kinds of crap. And Ace Austin is just stupid and sexy, and I hate him. He's stupid, sexy Ace, and I hate him. He's going to pose the whole time, isn't he? I don't know. He's going to do, like, he's going to pose with his abs and his pecs. I'm going to be fat, and I'm going to have to kick him in his face. And it's just going to be fun. You know what I mean? Trey takes my cereal. He lied. He takes my honeycombs. And I'm... It's, it's over. Honeycombs is the best cereal there is. Nobody cares for fruity pebbles. No. Nobody cares for frosted flakes. Mm-hmm. Honeycomb. And Trey took my honeycomb. Yeah. He's really not a nice guy. He really is, though. So. <laughs> he's a really good guy. He's, he's my brother, and Meyer's my brother, and Stupid Sexy Ace is my brother. <laughs> so yeah, the rest is going to be really, really fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick a lot of them in their faces, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So he may no longer be Stupid Sexy Ace. No, I, I feel like no matter how many times I hit him, it's like he's just going to get harder abs or bigger pecs, and I'm just going to be here like fat, fat, fat the entire time. That's all that's going to happen. That's, so not, that's just not fair. There's just people in this world. It's not fair. It's not. I'm eating healthy. I got orange crackers with peanut butter and a propel water, and I'm still fat. But here's the thing. I'm the only six foot tall wrestler in the match, mm-hmm. and I'm swole as fuck. I'm six foot swole, big match goal. Huge! Jacked. Jacked. I'm very impressed. You should be. I also love your shirt. I've been listening to the Macho Man rap album all the way up here. <laughs> so I've been, I, I forgot I had this in my bag. So I was just like, I put it on, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. It makes sense. And I try to. I tried to talk to some of the powers that be about changing my music to Be a Man by Macho Man, but they said it's already too late. Be a man, homie. All right, for our audio listeners, please describe the shirts. For audio listeners, it is Macho Man Randy Savage with the WWF Wayne Eagle Championship, which is the best world championship. He is looking out. It looks like he's sitting on a pier looking out into the ocean. Mm-hmm. It's a cutoff shirt because I had to swallow to, you know, well, your probably first, just fell off. Yeah, they, they've literally ripped off. I was like, Pah! But yeah, so Macho Man's just staring off into the sunset, wondering why Hulk Hogan won't be a man, homie. Don't be scared. I'm done. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was man. awesome. Oh, it's so funny.
for the taste of the pot. Uh, sick, 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 you know how I act now. If you got a problem, come and see if I'm a back down. Act wild. Steady sipping check This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.